एक आईज मेरा नाम डॉक्टर शेरुन है और आप सबका स्वागत है हमारे इस चैनल में जिसका नाम है नीट बडी वे वी प्रोवाइड यू विद डेली बायोलॉजी एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द चैप्टर्स ऑफ क्लास इलेवंथ और क्लास ट्वेल्थ एन सी बायोलॉजी एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर फ्रॉम विच वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू विद एम सी क्यूज टूडे इज दे ऑन योर स्क्रीन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद एम सी फॉर टूडे What is the approximate duration of cell cycle for humans? What is the approximate duration of cell cycles for humans? Option A, 20 minutes. Option B, 24 hours. Option C, 48 hours. Or option D, 90 minutes. Approximate duration of cell cycle for humans is. The correct answer is option B. That is 24 hours. Question two, doubling time of yeast cell is option A, ninety minutes; option B, twenty minutes; option C, twenty-four hours; or option D, forty-eight hours. Doubling time of yeast cell is. The correct answer is option A, that is ninety minutes. And what does doubling time mean? Doubling time means the time which the cell takes to divide. So there is one cell. How much time it will take to double itself? Means it divide into two cells. So 90 minutes. So 24 hours is the doubling time of human cell. 20 minutes is the doubling time of E. coli, and 90 minutes is the doubling time of yeast cells. Question three: Karyokinesis refers to option A, division of cytoplasm. Option B, division of mitochondria. Option C. division of nucleus or option d division of organelle karyokinesis refers to the correct answer is option c that is division of nucleus question 4 mark the incorrect statement 95% of cell cycle is represented by m phase option b DNA replication occurs in interphase. Option C, cytokinesis refers to division of cytoplasm. Option D, centriole duplicate in S phase. Mark the incorrect statement of the four statements that I have just read. One is incorrect. You have to identify which one is incorrect. The correct answer is. option a that is 95% of cell cycle is represented by m phase this statement is incorrect in fact 95% of cell cycle is represented by interphase and the m phase is very short lived question 5 example of cell in crescent stage is option a liver cells option b nerve cells option c cardiac cells or option d erythropoietic stem cells example of cells in quiescent stage s the correct answer is option a liver cell what does quiescent stage of cell means it means the cell has escaped the cell cycle and is now just existing as a cell and is not dividing nerve cell and cardiac cells these are permanent cells once they escape the cell cycle they never come back so they are not the quiescent stage Erythropoietic stem cells; these are stem cells, so they continue to divide. However, the liver cell exists in a quiescent stage until the time there is not the need of division; it exists as a normal cell. However, whenever there is need of division, the liver cell comes back into cell cycle and divides to produce more liver cells. Question six: Duplication of centrioles occur in option A. S phase option B, pro phase option C, meta phase or option D, G2 phase. Duplication of centriole occurs in. The correct answer is option A, S phase. Guys, remember, duplication of centrioles doesn't occur in pro phase; it occurs in S phase, the synthesis phase. Question seven. Golgi complex and endoplasmic reticulum disappear in option A, S phase, option B, pro phase, option C, meta phase or option D, ana phase. Golgi complex and endoplasmic reticulum disappears in. The 
correct answer is option B, prophase, which is the first phase of M phase. All the cell organelles like the Golgi complexes, endoplasmic reticulum, nuclear envelope, nucleolus, all these disappear in uh, prophase. Question 8. Chromatids separate in which of the following stage? Chromatids separate in which of the following stage? Option A. Prophase. Option B. Metaphase. Option C. Anaphase or option D. Telophase. Chromatids separate in which of the following phases? The correct answer is option C. Anaphase. The chromatids separate from each other in the anaphase of the M phase. Question 9. Chiasmata is formed in which stage of prophase 1? Chiasmata is formed in which stage of prophase 1? Option A. Pachytene. Option B. Diplotene. Option C. Dikinesis or option D. Zygotene. As you must be knowing, meiosis is divided into pro, uh, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. All the stages of meiosis 1 is labeled with 1 and all the stages of meiosis 2 is labeled with 2. Like stages of meiosis 1 are prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1. And stages of meiosis 2 are prophase 2, anaphase 2, metaphase 2, like that. So in which of the stages of prophase 1, chiasmata is formed? The correct answer is option B, that is diplotene. You all must be knowing that the prophase 1 itself is divided into five phases, right? Leptotene, zygotene, pachytene, diplotene, diakinesis. So, in the diplotene stage, chiasmata formation occurs. Question 10. The stage between two meiotic division is called as option A, interphase, option B, G1 phase, option C, G2 phase or option D, interkinesis. Stage between two meiotic division is called as. The correct answer is option D, interkinesis. Guys, when you're reading the question, read it carefully. Over here it is asking meiotic division, not mitotic division. If the question would have been stages between mitotic division, that the correct answer would have been option A. However, since the question is asking about meiotic division, the answer is option D, that is interkinesis. Question number 11. Identify the meiotic stage in which the homologous chromosomes separate while the sister chromatids remain associated in their centromeres. Metaphase 2, anaphase 1, anaphase 2, metaphase 1. Meiotic stage in which the homologous chromosomes separate while the sister chromatids remain associated at their centromeres. The correct answer is option B that is anaphase 1. Question number 12. In eukaryotic cell transcription, RNA splicing and RNA capping takes place inside nucleus, dictyosome, endoplasmic reticulum or ER or ribosomes. Where does the transcription, RNA splicing and RNA capping takes place? The correct answer is option A, inside the nucleus. Question number 13. Polyethylene glycol method is used for biodiesel production, seedless fruit production, energy production from sewage or gene transfer without a vector. Polyethylene glycol method is used for. The correct answer is option D, gene transfer without a vector. Question number 14. In sea urchin DNA, which is a double-stranded DNA, 17% of the bases were shown to be cytosine. The percentage of other three bases expected to be present in this DNA are, four options are given. Out of these, you have to find the correct percentage of the remaining three bases of the DNA. The correct answer is option B. Guanine would be 17%, adenine would be 33% and thymine would be 33%. Question number 15. The second maturation division of mammalian ovum occurs. Option A. Shortly after ovulation, before the ovum makes entry into the fallopian tube. Option B. 
until after the ovum has been penetrated by a sperm option c until the nucleus of sperm has fused that with the ovum or option b in graafian follicle following first maturation division when does the second maturation division of the mammalian ovum occur the correct answer is option b until the ovum has been penetrated by a sperm question number 1 when during the meiotic division meiotic division do the homologous chromosome pair with each other option a leptotein option b patchy teen option c zygotein or option d metaphase 1 pairing of homologous chromosomes during the meiotic division occurs in which stage the correct answer is option c that is zygotein now remember meiotic division two parts meiosis 1 meiosis 2 in meiosis 1 prophase 1 there are five stages what are those leptotene zygotene pachyotein diplotene and dikinesis right in the zygotene stage the pairing of homologous chromosome occurs and what is the pairing process called right synapsis question number 2 What does interkinesis refer to? Option A: stage between two mitotic division. Option B: stage between two meiotic division. Option C: other name of interphase or option D: none of these. What does interkinesis refer to? The correct answer is option B: it is the stage between two meiotic division. Question number three: at G1 stage, which phenomenon takes place? Option A. DNA synthesis option B RNA synthesis option C reverse transcription option D all the above at G1 stage which phenomenon takes place the correct answer is option B that is RNA synthesis question number 4 in which stage chromosome is longer option A leptotene option B zygotene option C patchy teen or option D dikinesis in which stage chromosome is longer the correct answer is option a in the leptotene stage the leptotene stage is the first stage of prophase 1 and the chromosomes gradually become visible in the leptotene stage and the compaction of chromosome continues throughout the leptotene stage question number 5 which effect is impaired by colecystine option a duplication of dna option b duplication of number of chromosomes option c formation of spindle fibers option d inhibits cell plate formation which effect is impaired by the drug colecystine the correct answer is option b that is it inhibits duplication of number of chromosomes question number 6 how many mitotic division are needed for a single cell to make 128 cells option a 7 option b 14 option c 28 option d 32 number of mitotic division that a cell must undergo to produce 128 cells the correct answer is option a 7 mitotic divisions question number 7 the artificial synthesis of dna was first accomplished by option a khurana option b Watson and Crick option C Nirenberg option D Kornberg artificial synthesis of DNA was first accomplished by the correct answer is option D that is Kornberg question number 8 during cell division in apical meristem nuclear membrane reappears in nuclear membrane reappears in option A interphase option B telophase option C prophase or option d s phase in which stage of cell division the nuclear membrane reappears the correct answer is option b that is telophase question number 9 dna synthesis can be specifically measured by estimating the incorporation of radio labeled which of the following four in radio labeled form is used to estimate the dna synthesis option a uracil option b adenine option c thymine or option d deoxyribose sugar the correct answer is thymidine radio labeled thymidine is used for estimating the amount of dna synthesized 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन द डिसीजन फॉर सेल डिविजन अकर्स इन अ सेल एट ऑप्शन ए एस फेज ऑप्शन बी जी टू फेज ऑप्शन सी जी वन फेज और ऑप्शन डी एम फेज इन विच ऑफ द फेजेस डज द सेल डिसाइड टू डिवाइड The correct answer is option C. That is, it decides in G1 phase that it has to divide. And what happens in S phase? Right, the replication of the DNA starts in the S phase. Question number eleven. DNA replication takes place in option one, uh, G1 phase, option B, G2 phase, option C, S phase, option D, mitotic phase, or the M phase. DNA replication takes place in. The correct answer is option C. That is S phase. Question number twelve. During mitosis, chromosome go to their poles in a stage called. In which of the following four stages does the chromosome go to their respective poles? Option A. Prophase. Option B. Metaphase. Option C. Anaphase. Or option D. Telophase. The correct answer is option C. In anaphase, the chromosomes move towards their poles. Question number thirteen. Tips of chromosome are called option A, centromere; option B, chromosome; option C, telomere; option D, metamere. Tips of chromosomes are called. The correct answer is option C, telomere. Question number fourteen. Exchange of chromosome segments between maternal and paternal chromatids during meiosis is known as. Exchange of the chromosome segments is known as option A, linkage; option B, dominance; option C, crossing over; option D, DNA multiplication. The correct answer is option C, that is crossing over. Question number fifteen: Which of the following cell division is found in prokaryotic cell? Option A, mitosis; option B, meiosis. option c a mitosis or option d all the above the type of cell division seen in prokaryotic cells the correct answer is option c that is a mitosis so those are the mcqs for today i hope you found this video helpful and for tomorrow's mcq session we are going to take up the next chapter following the chapter that we took up today so that would be all for today i'll see you guys again tomorrow till then all the best and keep working hard do like and share this video if you find it helpful and if you're new out there don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you guys for watching